In the first video, we show how to create and prepare the app host. That is going to receive the apps that I have in my app node on this system 731. As you can see, we have here Watson Pulse, and I have a couple of few others, other apps uh, added in here. So the process begins by I use FileZilla in my case. You can use whatever you, you want to move the in fact it's still in, in progress the uh, SFS image into the system. I'm going to post a video until that uh, transfer uh, finishes. So we have the SFS file in here. Again your numbers may vary depending on the version. So that is in a stored temp directory. We SSH into the curator box, as you see here, and we're going to mount that file in media updates, as you probably have done before in other installation. Now all we have to do is to go to media updates and run the installer. There are a few things that I want to highlight here. The first one is that this new installer for 732 or migration uh, file utility, it's going to detect that you have an app node and then it's going to ask you to remove it before the installation can uh, begin. So let's wait until it asks that question. Is validating the license? Is validating that they are not on deploy changes? You know, standard procedure. But this is set of messages that comes that do not fit in a single page, and that can give you the impression that, it, that the update is actually taking place and is uh, stuck. Uh, because it's just showing that part of the message. So let's wait until that shows up in preparing the page. And it's about to show us that message. I didn't want to pause the video in this part just to make sure I show you the entire thing. So standard procedure. I'm going to do the migration for all my components. I have QNI, QRM. It says this is going to shut down stuff. And then it's doing some more checking. I'm going to pause the video until that, that part gets to us. So this is the what I was referring to. So don't think that this is 89% of the patch. In fact, it hasn't even started. So what you need to do is hit the Enter key to get the message uh, fully display. And it said, do you wish to continue? You say yes. But then uh, it, this is the message we're telling you. You have an app node. You, you cannot proceed with that. So our only option is now to abort the installation and perform the migration of the data that I have in my app node into the curator console in this screen so we can move that data later back into the app host but more on that later so because we still have that image mounted we go into media update supplementary script and there is an there's a Python script here that is going to perform the backup of all the data that we have now in the app node. So this process is going to take, you know, not too long. I'm going to pause the video until that one finishes. As you can see, I have quite a few apps, and that backup process first needs to make sure that it's it stops all those uh, apps and it, it containers so it can actually retrieve the, the data back to pausing the video. That took 
around four or five minutes or so because again I have a lot of apps and notice that it now has created this file on the store directory and that contains the data of all my apps that are in the app node. Notice that it also removed the app node as well. See entry remove for node database table. So now I can proceed to do the migration and I will not encounter the roadblock that I had before. But before I proceed to shut down and not use the app node anymore, I need to retrieve that file that is on that system. And here's the MD5 in case that you want to check that data transfers went OK. And I do that by using SCP. And ask me because I'm going the first time, it asks me to confirm that. And it's bringing that file now into my store temp. Now I can proceed to shut down the app node. We don't need it anymore. We have the data from those apps in here. And we can proceed to the uh, actual migration to 732 again. Let's go the install call the installer again as we did before and I'm going to pause the video until it gets to the part when it asks us to provide some input. Same as before we select here old we say yes let's pause it until the pre-check finishes that didn't take long at all so now we got that message so we hit enter to see the end of the message do you want to continue say yes we want to continue then he's asked us well you know you sure that your apps are up to date and i did update my apps i keep them normally up uh, up to date because as the migration process continues it's going to find well you have these applications installed it's going to retrieve from the App exchange the new versions of them, so you don't want to have that. Uh, so you want to make sure that you get the the the, up, the your apps uh, up to date. And then you know you want to continue. I'm going to select one. Uh, yes, because I don't have any any particular uh, collector. In, I have an all in one in my system, but this is warning you that it's not going to be doing any more uh, collection. I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to tell you how long this part uh, took. When you get to this screen, don't think that the system has stalled, it's just doing its thing, but it's, it remains here for quite a bit of time. Well, that took two hours and 18 minutes in my demo system. Again, that I guess that performance would vary with the different... Uh, on an appliance should be faster than that and depend on the number of apps that you have, but uh, just to set the expectation, that's what it took on my system. The system is uh, automatically reboots, so let's wait until it comes up. So the system rebooted, we have a 732 successful migration, and if we go here to the extension management, we see that we have the apps, but they don't have any data. The data, we need to put it back from the backup that we did. So I started the app host that I installed and there is a link in the video description of this video that shows the process of actually doing that. So we are going to be uh, attaching that or adding that app host in to our system and we do that by going here in deployment action at host and we put the address 172.16.60.58 is the app host put the password make sure I put that right And that's basically all we have to do. 
and I'm gonna post the video until this part finishes that took around 8 minutes but I'm not I cannot click here migrate until I move the data back from the console where I copied from the app node into the newly deployed app host so let me actually log in into the console so if you remember we put the backup file in the store temp here's the file we're going to be using SCP to put it at the root of the app host so it's the file is actually there now one thing that is important to notice is that after we add the app host we need to deploy the changes so I'm gonna start that process and after the deploy changes finishes I'm gonna wait a good you know 10-15 minutes to make sure that everything is settled everything is is cool before I start uh, the restore process of the data for the apps pause in the video now so the deploy changes finished I waited a couple of minutes make sure everything is settled and good it's good to be patient in this installation process uh, and now we are going to be using this Python script to restore in the app node, that's the address, the file that we just moved using SCP there. We type yes. And this is going to do its things. I'm going to pause the video and resume when this part part uh, finishes well that didn't even take a minute to run going back here okay now we are ready to get to that screen that was asking us to do the migration in here so we are going to click first migrate and then a dialog comes up and then we need to click uh, proceed so we click proceed and then we see application migration started and this is going to take a while I'm going to tell you how much it is uh, but the first time I run this, I mean, I see this progress bar going quickly to 15 and stay there for a while, then going to 75. And and this really depends on how many apps and how much data you have. I have quite a, quite a bit of it. So pausing the video again for the last uh, stage. Well, that surely took a while. But again, I have a lot of apps in my system. The migration was successful let me reload the page and I see my apps here the user the UBA let's see if it uh, has the data and I want to make some final comments and some recommendations and, and the data from uh, the other systems is here let's see Watson if it keep kept the data and sure it is uh, so this is this is really working fine and the other apps are right here so successful process couple of recommendations that I will kindly pass on. Number one, this is a lengthy process, as you have seen. I, I've given you the, the times of the process. So don't rush it up. Don't go from, don't jump from one to, a, to the other. Make sure that you, you know, take a, a, a few extra minutes be, be, be between every steps and you follow them uh, very closely. Second, clean up your app node before you embark in this process. So go to the app node and if you have an app you're not using it, you know, you remove it. And if you have an app that is not new, get it up to date. If, if you have the assistant app, that it should help you make sure that you have all your apps up to date. But if you don't, then go 
and the apps that you're using, make sure that you have the current. Because as you have seen in this process, the backup we did only moved the data, but not the actual apps. The migration process is smart enough is smart enough to actually bring the latest versions of the apps from the app exchange. So if you have a mismatch on the version, then you may run into some problems uh, during your, your, your migration process. So the apps may not work well after all. And as you see here, I, I did clean my app node before the migration, before the backup and everything was up to date and as you see everything uh, uh, is, is working fine.